So what's the problem? The problem is she attacked some of my guests yesterday. <laughs> she begging me. <laughs> One broken leg, a few bruises and scrapes. Look, she's been getting seriously aggressive. And now head office is on my back about it. I mean, she's a liability. So where did this happen? Right here, where she lives. Here? She can't live here, Fatani. It's too shallow. There isn't enough vegetation or shade. It's totally inadequate as a habitat. No wonder she's aggressive. Well, I'm not judging the river for her. I don't have the budget. Look, just give her something to calm her down, OK? <laughs> Take one hell of a sack of alien. I'm not sedating a healthy animal. Just relocate her. Where to? The swimming pool? Trevanian! Trevanian, you don't get it. I have to sort this problem out today. You know, if I can just tell head office that you've treated her... I can't treat her. She isn't sick. If you won't help me, I'm stuffed, OK? She attacked guests. My job is on the line here. OK. Well, there's a water hole southeast of Leopard's Den that would suit her perfectly. Give her to us. Give her to you? Give you a hippo? That thing is worth 40k. No, you could wait until she bites a guest in half. Oh. You started it. Well, is she coming? Max is taking us on a picnic. Oh, I can't. We've guests arriving. It's really not a good time, sorry. Sure. Yeah. You know, sister, you work too hard. Hey, kiddo, what are you doing? Putting up a picture of my dad. What's happened to your mum? She didn't quite fit into the frame. Story of our lives, really. Oh, the funeral was so moving. So many of his friends turned up and said such lovely things. And your mum? Oh, she put in an appearance. I told her we moved out here and she seemed to think it was to get away from her. As if. Yeah, I know. Africa is not far enough. Hey, you'll never guess what Fatani just did. You and Fatani are worse than the kids. No, 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 it's a good thing. It's amazing. What? Wait and see. Danny! Are you going to pick up these guests or shall I do it? There's no rush, Rosie. It's not till Tuesday. Uh, yeah, today is Tuesday. What? The tents aren't even ready! So I'm picking them up then. So, this is it. Stunning. Are we the only ones here? Yes, sadly, for this week. Uh, no, no, that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Good. Don't we, uh, get any pillows? <laughs> pillows? Yeah, of course. No, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'll see to it, I promise. But how was your journey? Hot. <laughs> <laughs> There's some fruit and water in the fridge. I... I mean, there will be shortly. I'm really sorry, Mrs. Digby. <laughs> Mrs. Digby. That's just weird. Right. Well, I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> A real life hippopotamus? Seriously? Large as life and twice as handsome. And the time he just gave them to you? Well, this one's a bit temperamental. Temperamental as in psychotic? Do you know how many game parks have got hippos? Hardly any. Is that because they're incredibly dangerous? Sarah, it's a hippo. In the right environment, she's perfectly safe. We'll just keep her here until she gets settled and starts feeding, and then we'll lead her down to the water hole. Maybe we can dangle one of the children off the end of a stick. Baxi Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> So when's this two-ton psychopath arriving? Fatani said this afternoon. Look! Evan! Olivia, keep well back. Don't make any sudden noises. Danny? 
How do they fit a hippo in the taxi? Mother? <sighs> oh dear, hardly the Savoy, is it? Sarah, darling. My goodness, you filled out a bit. Oh, don't just stand there gawping. Pay the man and fetch my bags. Will you be staying on Granny Caroline? Who's Granny Caroline? You are. Do I look like a granny? Yeah. I can tell you've been raised in the bush. Call her Caroline. She won't care. And can we get you anything? A glass of water or some... Some peace and quiet would be nice. Uh, dinner's ready in an hour and bathroom's down the hall if you want to shower. Running water? Hallelujah. Anybody ordered a hippo? Uh, one's just arrived. Ah, somebody who's <laughs> been invited for a change. <clears throat> it's not much, but it's home. Well, you're half right. Come, come, come. Come in. Come on, boys. Come, 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 come. Come on, come, 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 come. Yes, yes. Wow. I think you better close the gate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think he would be grateful. These are probably the best rooms they have. <laughs> I see you met my mother. You should come up tomorrow and use the spa sometime, as my guest. Well, thank you. I'd love to. I say, darling, look at this. Stationery. Maybe you should book a room. I'm sure they need the business. not happy about this. She's grumpy, she's tired, and she's a long way from home. I was talking about my mother. Yeah, so was I. <sighs> what was she doing here? What does she want? To see you. Look, I know you've had your differences in the past, but this might be the time to make up, you know? Make the effort, yeah? Cut some slack. Okay? Hey? you notice the resemblance? Stop it. Ooh, someone fell in the water hole. Uh, why don't you join me for a drink, Caroline? Oh. Here we are. Thank you, Anders. This is a local wine at Preston. Right, yeah. Why are you dressed like that? You're going to church. Go wash your face. It's not dirty. Uh, really? Do you mind if we go and eat dinner down in the tent? Yeah, of course, I'll get Tandy to walk you down. Is everything OK? Everything's fine. Except uh, we don't have any mosquito nets. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'll see to it, I promise. Thanks. Thanks. Why the big sunglasses? Mother. She got a black eye? <laughs> Honestly. Demanding room service in a place like this. They are on their honeymoon. They need privacy and I don't blame them. Two guests. No wonder you're rushed off your feet, darling. Danny tells me you're also in the hotel business. I'm a sort of roving troubleshooter. Ah, yeah, that's where Sarah gets it from. Oh, I doubt she's learned much from me. Oh, she certainly got your looks. Well, she certainly didn't get them from her father. <laughs> Talk about the back of beyond. 